Lily up here. Welcome to today's video. So today I really wanted to show you guys how I transition my wardrobe and just give you a few tips to go from summer to autumn slash winter without having to buy like a whole new wardrobe, loads and loads of clothes. It's been summer. Okay, we've spent a bit too much. Holiday season is coming up. We've spent way too much already doing like hot girl summer vibes, okay? And we don't want to spend any more money on ourselves. It's time to think of others. But I did go shopping and I did buy some stuff. So I'm going to show you that today. I'm going to get straight into things, but if you're not subscribed, then make sure you are. Have the notifications turned on. I just realized I'm not wearing a bra. Can you tell? Wait, I need to put a bra on. I feel really awkward. Okay, so tip number one, and that is maxi skirts. And you're probably like, that's not a tip. It's not a tip. I just realized it's not a tip. First thing to look out for when you're shopping for your wardrobe is maxi skirts. I have only recently started wearing them. I'm not going to lie. I love showing off my legs and I usually hate wearing maxi skirts. However, this time of year, they are amazing because they're kind of classed as a summer piece literally every single one of them go on sale and they're really really inexpensive to buy and you can actually dress them up so well for autumn winter and it looks really really good first one i have to show you is from nasty gal and it's a black silky a little bit of a slit to it and i got this in summer i'm pretty sure it's on sale right now i feel like everything on nasty gal is always on sale and during the summer i'd work with a bralette it's just a bikini top if I was on holiday. Literally all I did to change up the outfit and make it appropriate for this time of year is wear a crop jumper. You could even do just a normal fluffy jumper, maybe even like an oversized sweater to like tuck into the skirt. A good statement belt. I feel like these kind of belts work well in winter. There's just something about it that just screams like Christmas. Maybe it's, oh my god, it's Father Christmas belt. That's what I'm thinking of. Oh my god, cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. This outfit was mainly black during the summer. I wore it with my um, Sakai's because they have so many like different colours in them. It made it a lot more summery. But then for autumn winter, I've actually worn this out in the evening. So I wore heels with it, but you could wear ankle boots. You could wear trainers, but maybe change the colour of them and wear black or even white maybe. And I also have this knitted one as well from YesStyle. And... I've just been loving your style at the moment. I found this one which is knitted. Obviously, this is meant for autumn winter, so you're not going to find many of these on sale, but there are so many of them. So finding something like this where the colour is like slightly pink and it's not too thick, I can wear this like way into like April or June and be fine. Just change it up with a little tank top, you know, sandals. It'll be all good. As soon as I saw this, I had an idea of something I wanted to do in my head and I was like, oh my goodness, wow that will be great as i said i've been loving these skirts with boots um which is so unlike me but i actually really like it it's almost a little bit more modest as well if you're someone who um doesn't want to show too much leg and you just want to be a little bit more conservative then stuff like this works so well because you pretty much cover your whole leg this skirt with my dream boots and i say dream boots because they are my dream boots if you're going to buy anything from this video make sure it's those boots because they are everything and I can't find anything similar anywhere um, because they were sold out for a little bit and I was trying to find alternatives to link for this video couldn't find anything except for a pair of Celine boots which I actually really really like but they're like in the thousands these boots were less than a hundred so just saying the next thing I love to style for this time of year is cobalt and I keep all of the same ones from summer I don't buy any new ones for the winter this khaki cohort is like a shirt jacket kind of thing with some shorts throughout summer i was wearing this with a white crop top and then like dad trainers and just like some scratch down socks great and i have a feeling this is going to go on sale on zara so just keep an eye out for it do you know when they do their annual like big black friday sale that's coming up soon because the set has shorts in it and it's classed as a summer set I'm like 90% sure it's going to go on sale. So if you want to wait like a week or two and then buy it, you might get it for a little bit cheaper. The way I've been styling this one is just with like a cream jumper. I get all of my jumpers from Misguided. The one I'm wearing now is from Misguided. Um, the cream one that you've seen like 90% of the outfits in this video. They are just such staples. Just like these cream high neck jumpers i always get them from misguided the quality is so nice i did was just paired a pair of boots that were quite high i could even do over the knee boots which i do have i just don't know i don't know where they are a deep love for these aldo boots that i got they're like a not a croc they might be a croc they're like a deep chocolatey brown and they just make every outfit look so expensive i got them on asos i mean they were pretty affordable and it just makes it look so high fashion all them during fashion week and everyone was like oh my goodness where are your boots from and i was like asos 
Another thing I like to do leading up to when it gets a little bit colder is to find all my like airport lounge outfits and start to see how I can put it into legitimate like daytime outfits or even evening outfits. Realize how much loungewear you buy during the summer. If you're someone that travels a lot, like every time I go to the airport, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna need a cute little airport outfit. Oh, let me buy this jumper, let me buy these leggings. And they kind of just drift to the back of your wardrobe when you get home, dig them out because you're about to make an outfit with them, okay? There is this jumper, which again, I got from Yestyle, but the brand is YRMY, Yami, Yami. So and I was like, okay, beige, so easy to style. It's also fleece lined as well, so it's really, really warm. I have this skirt from Storetti. So I was like, oh, maybe I can, I can pair the two together. I actually haven't tried this one, so I don't know what this looks like. It might look really bad, but maybe pair the two together, even have, um, I love the little like white roll neck coming out the top a high ponytail and go for a really like cutesy vibe I just I think it could be quite cute. I really do another thing are these Joggers which you guys all loved on Instagram these like burnt orange joggers. I'm just obsessed with they're from misguided travel just like a basic crops t-shirt or whatever and then recently what did I wear with this? Oh I wore the roll neck. Honestly, this is like a lifesaver. Together and I was so warm, so comfortable. You could even, as it gets colder into winter, obviously because these are wide leg, you could do leggings underneath, you could do flannels underneath. Try and find as many of those comfy pieces you have and just make use of them. You could even wear like a black, just plain tracksuit. I know us girls love a good plain tracksuit going to the airport. It just looks so chic, it really does. Okay, so I feel like we should talk about jackets as well because you're gonna need a jacket no matter how hard you try and spin around your summer clothes. Kind of just, you just need a jacket to stay warm. I try and stick to a rule of three when I'm buying my jackets for the winter. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up with 12 trench coats, which I feel so ashamed saying. The first jacket you wanna get is your warm winter jacket. This doesn't have to look fashionable. You don't need to think about it. Doesn't matter where it's from. I found a cute one, if you do want to find like a little cute one. Mine's from Revolve and again, you guys all seem to love it on Instagram, so I'm gonna link it down below. It's like a rustic brown color. Um, it kind of changes in the light, love that. So comfortable, so warm. Uh, also looks really cute as well. I also have one from the Couples as well. A little bit more expensive, I got mine in Vista, so if you want to go to an outlet or something like that. Um, but I do recommend spending the most on your jacket more than your clothes, because I mean, look at all the outfits we put together from just our summer pieces. You need to buy loads of jumpers and loads of jeans and stuff like that. You need a jacket, okay? You need a jacket. The outfit does not look good if you're cold, okay? So, just saying, just saying. I need to take that into consideration myself and wear the jacket. Wear the jacket. Just wear the jacket. Jacket number two is an evening jacket. There's like the Christmas parties happening, there's the dinners and there's the get togethers, there's New Year's. You guys also have Thanksgiving in the States. Like there's just so much going on. Bonfire night. Because there's so many like evening events happening outside where your outfit underneath that you put together, you're actually not gonna see. You want something that looks good and you feel good in. So I have this one from, again, Yes Style, but it's from Chu. I got it last year and I wear it all the time like all the time the easiest way to get a jacket to look really dressed up is to buy one that is long line it automatically looks a little bit more evening appropriate and then lastly you want to get a jacket that is a little bit shorter maybe not as thick and not as like big as like your bigger jacket for me i always go for a bomber jacket every single year i just love them and most of the time the ones i get look the same but I love them. Black bomber jackets are so easy to style. They're so easy to layer up as well because they're usually quite roomy on the inside. This one, I showed you in my last video. Where is she? Oh my God, I love her. Super basic black jacket. However, she has a party trick. Okay, just wait, wait. Her sleeves open. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about it, but I don't, I don't know. This, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I love her so much. I don't know, the tags look super fancy. How cool is that? They're like shiny. I just really like the option that you can either have it done up or you can have it down. And it just looks a little bit different every time you wear it. But those are the three jackets I get. I try not to buy more than one in each category and that way you're not wasting your money, you're not wasting clothes. It's just so much easier and you kind of know what to wear when. Um, so that is my rule with jackets. 
Okay, so that is pretty much everything I've been doing this year to transition my wardrobe over to the autumn season. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up so I know to do more videos like this. But that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you want to follow me on Instagram or subscribe, everything is linked down below. But I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Let's just be young. Let's just be real. You ain't got no cash. You ain't got no dollar.